beautiful estuary beach lounge, the Honey Beach. Then the tides are becoming high. The water is approaching the show. The shows. Yeah, beautiful sounds. Congo Beach in Diani, Let me do Kenya, some is a here. unique blend of natural beauty and cultural history with the Congo River, actually making a scenic boundary between Diani and two beaches. This side is celebrated Whenever for its peaceful ambience, so clear waters, and particularly the stunning sunset, making it a popular spot for canoe rides where visitors can explore the mangroves and enjoy yeah. serene sunset views over the Indian Ocean. Local guides and boat operators provide tours catering for both international and local tourists who often come specifically to witness the renowned sunset. However, I didn't know that I can always be coming at the seaside to listen to the beautiful sounds. Then I be shouting, go see Africa. <laughs> I say you don't understand. Why they call this ocean Indian Ocean, yet it has no connection with India. Waves here yeah, are very strong and um, you really enjoy watching them, especially if you are love of sun. You will love just staying at the beach side, the shore side and enjoying those sounds. For me, I really like those water sounds from the water and birds. Anytime you're around here, you need to be extra careful. It's a sunken area. You can see, sort of a mountain. So this place is always covered by water. So I can always be going there and listening to the birds, just relaxing and not thinking about nothing. The Congo estuary where Congo River meets Indian Ocean at Diani Beach offers a tranquil yet dynamic display of ocean waves. These waters surrounded by large mangroves create a mixed calm and energetic wave activity influenced by tides and winds. The estuary is also a favorite spot for watching sunsets with the golden lights reflecting off the ocean gentle waves. A perfect backdrop against the seat hold of the historic Congo Mosque. The combination of mangroves, the estuary and the beach with Max Congo Beach an appealing destination for both relaxation and exploration. This estuary is not only visually striking but also ideal for canoe and door rides where visitors can drift between calm sections of the river and the more active, well-filled ocean zone. In case you are working for a different beach, <laughs> don't come for me. I'm only coming in peace. So I'm saying the truth. Anytime you ever see me visit a certain beach, then I'm there to live that moment and I give the real views as I see them, as I find them. If I find your beach is dirty, I will say it's dirty. I find your beach is clean, I say clean. For Congo, I learned that these guys, the beach boys have an association. They have a registered association whereby they arrange on how to clean the beach, they maintain security at the, at the beach, they make sure that anyone visited at the beach, they are safe. These guys will never um, compete for clans. You are there, they know, oh, this and this group warn you. Oh, this and this group 
head already uh, make up an arrangement with you. So once you get there, they need to be taking you around. No one else will be jumping in, snatch a clan from another beach boy. That's so uncalled for. That they don't they don't allow that. They have they even have rules to chase you away for a period of six months. I didn't know that. These guys can even go to an extent of taking you to the police station in case you arrest a clan. And this is your own clan, remember? During evenings, people flock the beach. Now we can see the beach is getting filled up by people of different races and nationalities, from Italians to Germans. To local Kenyans, Africans. Locals of this place are fond of winning natives of different uh, races, people of different races, like the Italians and Germans. So you see, someone never goes to school, but they would rather join a German class. For them to win a German girl. So here we have an example of one guy who just won himself. Yeah, you see? Then some beach boys here, they are taking a swim. These guys can swim even when we have the most heaviest tides. So you can tell, Barry Chafu, it won't be easy today. But the guy don't be, don't seem to be scared of it. He's so much comfortable. So the tides are chasing me away. Welcome to Kongoni River. Congo River. I, I, I'm fond of calling it Congoni, but it's Congo. Welcome to Congo River in Diana Beach. So this is Congo Beach. That is a river which drains its waters to the Indian Ocean, somewhere here. Look at the tides. You see the white tides? I tell you, today it won't be easy as, as usual. Thank you, Father, you're taking his daughter some photos. I would like to do this sometime. I wish I had a daughter. But since I chose to be a traveler, <laughs> I pay the price. My ignorance will cost me. But you can always want to come to the beach and watch the tides approach the shore side, the seaside. Then after successful adventure, you leave to your homes or to your hotel rooms. 
I usually tell those guys who are born at the coast they are lucky. We in car a lot to visit their hometown, to visit their home, their village, because this is a village. This is where they belong. Let me show you an example of Coral Reef. I know we have a person who has never been to the beach and they really don't know what a coral reef is. They have learned in class, yes. But they, are ne they have never got the opportunity to see it in real life. However, I want you to know that on top of the coral reef, you can easily step on some crabs and some harmful fish. Yeah, this is the coral reef now. They are very risky. It's very risky walking on top of them. They can easily harm you. Especially when you, especially when you are swimming and you don't know whether they are here. You can easily step on them. Imagine you step on this. Unknowingly, you leave your, your flesh there. <laughs> so I just decided to do a lifestyle vlog. Just walking at the beach and enjoying the views. Now I need to leave the beach. I need to head home. Bahari has it kuchafuka. So I told you there's a sunken area. And uh, they have some red flags there. Showing you that it's very risky. Whenever this area fills up, you're not supposed to go beyond this place. This is the famous Congo Beach, Congo Estuary. These people really observe this place at this place. You're not supposed to take alcohol. You're not supposed to take alcohol while around this place. You're not supposed to appear nude. You can see we have some warnings here. Alcohol and nudity, music is not allowed. It's not allowed, it's illegal. Yeah, my new 
Now I'm supposed to board this Matatu from this place, Dian to Likoni. <laughs> Just like Nairobi, this guy tuned their matatu the same way. See the kind of graffiti they have. Look good. Outside the same way. The music. Bro, see it's nice to make your camera. Keep on subscribing to my channel. It's about sunset. African sun, there's a young man traveling always on the run with a heart full of courage and a voice strong and true. He's showing the world a different view. Go see Africa, brave African boy through every valley and mountain. He finds his joy with a camera in hand and dreams in his sight. He's lighting up Africa with pure, honest light. From the sands of Sahara to the Congo's green vines He walks with the lions and crosses the lines Every tale he captures, every story he finds It's the spirit of Africa, wild and kind Go oh, see Africa, brave African boy Showing the beauty, the heart and the joy From sunsets to rivers and every wild land He's carrying Africa in the palm of his hand With courage so steady and faith so bold He's sharing the beauty, the heart and the joy From sunsets to rivers and every wild land He's carrying Africa in the palm of his hand Oh, go see Africa, brave African boy Through every valley and mountain He finds his joy with a camera in hand Dreams in his sight, he's lighting up Africa with pure, honest light. So here's to the boy with dreams so grand, with miles to wander across this land. Go see Africa, the stories you bring. We'll live in our hearts like an endless spring. so grand with miles to wander across this land go see africa the stories you bring will live in our hearts like an endless spring Chilachpafoka bu brave African boy Through every valley and mountain he finds his joy With a camera in hand and dreams in his sight He's lighting up Africa with pure honest light So here's to the boy with dreams so grand With miles to wander across this land You'll see Africa, the stories you bring Live in our hearts like an endless spring Yeah, we'll live in our hearts like an endless spring